there's still, as you can see, uh, coins spawning on all the spawns. <laughs> back to another tutorial on reactive metal. In this video, we will be making a random spawner on Roblox. So let's say you have a map and you have some coins, right? Uh, this is a coin, and this is actually something I made uh, like in a very old tutorial I made, but whatever. So let's say you want to spawn this in random areas of the map. Now, there's technically two ways that I know of you um, that you can do, but I think in this video we'll go over uh, the one that that's most helpful and that would work the best. So actually, before we do this, let's say you have a realistic map now, something that most people would work with. So let's just kind of make some elevation, some mountains here and there. Let's say this is some kind of map. All right, let's say this is some kind of map. Let's make it green so it looks like grass. And then put some, I don't know, it's kind of realistic. So let's say you want to spawn these corners in random areas of the map. Actually, maybe we, let's put, let's make it even more better. Let's put some houses and trees. I think I forgot, where's my toolbox? Okay, I don't know why this is not working. This is not where is okay whatever. This doesn't doesn't look like it's going well, whatever. Uh yeah, that's not good. <laughs> forget about this, forget about this. Uh Okay. Let's go to models. So classic house. And then we'll put some classic houses here and there. Here and there, like this. Whatever, I don't know how to build. I'm bad at building. Uh, classic tree. Put some trees here and there. Okay. Here and there. Let me make this bigger if you want. I'm not really a good builder, guys, so just saying. Uh, Alright. Then let's make this here too. Uh, make this here. Okay. So let's say this is a map. And I think this is good enough. Um, you can add whatever you want. But let's say you want to, uh, you want some coins spawning randomly in random areas of the map. So the technique that I'm gonna do is actually we're gonna have parts, uh, and we're gonna choose where the coin is going to spawn but we're going to have many parts many areas where the coin will spawn and it will spawn there specifically but it will spawn like in a random area i'm going to show uh you guys what i mean by that so let's we don't actually need this is xp so we can ignore this this is a coin that we've made in a previous tutorial it was on our stat tutorial or something uh this is just the okay, i'm not sure right. This is just a script for the coin to give the player a coin in their leader stats. There's also, uh, so this is a very easy script, uh, it's not a simple script. Uh, does it really matter because that's not the point of the video. Um, and there's also a, let's see, I'm some random stuff, don't worry about these. Um, this is just for the data store script, so it saves the coins. Um, if you want to, if you want to know how to do that, just go on my previous tutorial, um, that's all. I'll actually probably link it in the description if I remember. Whatever. Now let's get to the big deal. <laughs> okay, create a folder. All right, name this spawns. So coin spawns. We can call this coin spawns. Coin spawns. Then we can put a part here. Then duplicate it. Part. Uh, make this. Okay, we can X that out of this. Make this anchored can collide equals false, and then at the end, make sure you make it transparent. But for now, we'll just make it 0.5 just so you can actually see. Now, these will be the spawns for every coin, or not for every coin, but a spawn that a coin can possibly spawn in. So we can duplicate these wherever we want. So, like here. Just put them wherever you want, wherever the you want the coin to spawn. OK, 
Okay. Oops, okay. Make sure you grab them. So let's say you want a coin inside here, coin inside there. But you get the idea. You can have many of these. As much as you want. As much as you want. As much as you want. You get the idea. Let's put one here in the chimney. Probably no one can get up there, but doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. So, we want the coin to spawn randomly. Now, I think you can start on the script. So, this is our coin spawn. All of our possible coin spawns. The spawns where our co coins will spawn eventually. Now, we can go on our server script service, make a new script. Ignore these scripts. Uh, that's for the other stuff. So, okay, that's the coin spawner. Oh, God. Coin spawner. All right. So let's get our coin spawns. Local coin spawns. Equal game dot workspace dot coin spawns. And then we can make a function. Let's actually make a function. So local function uh, spawn coin. And then we can actually do a spawn function. Now spawn. What it does is actually. I'm um, actually not forget about this now. Maybe I'm getting, I'm being too confusing. So what we can do is actually make a function. Actually, no, I should have done that. Yeah. So function, okay, coin spawn, whatever, coin spawn, whatever, name it whatever you want. Then in this, we'll do while true do, so it's it keeps on spawning eventually forever. Of course, we don't want it to like keep on spawning, like for like forever ever. If you know what I mean, like you don't want the map to be filled with coins, right? Of course, uh, we'll deal with that later, but we eventually do want it to loop forever. So, we'll get this coin right here. We'll uh, copy this or cut this, put this in replicated storage. So this is our coin model, coin. So local coin equal game dot replicated storage dot coin. All right. Now, let's put a maximum. Now, actually, let's say the maximum amount of coins we want on a map is the maximum amount of spawns. So there's not going to be more than two uh, coins per uh, the same spawn. So what we can do is actually, let's first make a coin clone coin clone will clone the coin and we spawn it randomly e equals coin clone coin clone dot parent e equals and then we'll actually choose a random spawn now actually before we do this before we do this um, we'll clone the coin but then we want to choose a random spawn so out of here we want to get all the parts of the of the coin spawns folder and put it in a table. The reason why you want to put it in a table is so we can choose one random spawn. So we'll do local uh, coin spawn spawn table. Coin spawn equals coin spawns. Coin spawns. Get children. Okay, I think a lot of these are the same. Uh, this name is something else. So spawner, spawner, honor. Coin spawner, coins name it just so it's not really confusing, like that. Okay, so we get all the spawns in this folder and put them in the table. Now we can choose a random spawn using a number. So we're gonna do local random spawn equals coin spawn table, which is all the coin spawns inside a table, and then we're gonna do two square brackets. So these square brackets are used after a table to get an item in the index that's inside these two brackets. So for example, if we do coin spawn table and then we put a five, it will get the fifth spawn. So one, two, three, four, five. And in this case, you want to choose a random one. So we do math.random, math.random, one, and then comma, so from one, choosing a random number from one to the number of, uh, to the last number of coins, uh, 
mass number. So basically, the amount of spawns in total, which is number of coin spawn t. Alright, I think that's good. So this is our random spawn. Now we can finally choose, um, or we already chose a random spawn. We can then parent our co coin, like we just coined, coined, the coin that we just cloned. Coin cloned up here, equal random spawn. This is so we can check whether or not the coin spawned in a specific spawn. So if it spawned in here, right, the coin will be under here. And then we know that the coin spawn in this spawn, so we don't uh, spawn another coin in the same uh, area. All right. Let's make a, let's see, let's make a, another variable. So max spawns or max coins equal 25. Actually not. Um, let's actually put this here. All right. And then number of coins spawned here. There you go. So the max coins is the number of spawns. That's basically it. All right. So while we'll do while hmm, there is a actually yeah you know what we'll do wait one if uh, actually hmm that's confusing. Let's see here. We still do want to continue for example if someone took a coin we want to uh, want the coin another coin to spawn back in that place but so far actually you know what? let's just test this out for now let's put a wait one here wait one and print spawned coin all right so so far should work and actually we just need to call this so spawn do spawn and then coin spawner just so it works. I mean, don't have to do spawn, you can just do coin spawner, but whatever. So let's see if this actually works. Oh, I forgot one uh, one important thing. Now, we did parent it to the workspace, but we want to, the position of the coin to be the same position of the part. And we do want it a bit. So if we get um, the coin right here. So where's our coin? Our coin. Uh, coins right here. Oh god. So if we got a coin, and if we actually put the position of it as the same position as the uh, part, so it's actually aligned at the center. So it'll probably look like this, right? Since it's aligned at the center, if we position it exactly. So what we want to do is actually lift this up a bit, and then make it so it's a bit higher than the center of the part. So put this back, and then we can do uh, coin clone, coin clone, coin clone. Oh my god, coin clone dot or should do C frame equal rents spawn that C frame C frame, and then we do plus vector three dot new. So vector three is a data type that holds three values x, y, and z. So start off with zero, zero, zero. So X is in the X axis, Y is in the Y axis, and Z is in the Z axis. So we're adding a vector three value, meaning we're adding a position value. So in this case, you want to add on the Y axis. So we want it to be, because we want it to be uh, more higher. So let's say, let's put like three, set this amount of studs. So let's see how this works. All right, so you can see right now there was that one coin right here. So there's one coin right here. It's a bit high. I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna collect this coin. Oh, that's wait, I didn't know I didn't know I was supposed to do that. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um yeah, but that was let's ignore this. There's still, as you can see, uh coins spawning on all the spawns, as you can see. Now for I think hold a minute. So if it spawns yeah, it's still spawning infinitely, pretty much, because we never made an if statement. We don't. We still want it to stop at some point when it's get uh, when it's pretty much, you know, 
too much. We don't want it to keep on spawning, right? Like infinite, infinite amount of coins. So what we can do, let me think, okay. Uh, all right, okay, we'll make a counter, make another function. Function counter. So for I, and then spawn, I can do for I spawn, I uh, think never mind, let's do S in pairs, coin spawn table, do. If spawn has a coin, find for child, we can do find for child coin, then we'll do max, uh, max, no, max coins. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we can make another variable. Max coins. Um. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Uh, local uh, coin spawned equals zero. So this is the amount of coins that are spawned. We can use this variable to count how many coins are pretty much spawned. Coin spawn table. Coin spawned. Coin spawned. Uh, plus equals one. Actually, let's make this variable. Uh, let's always copy and paste this so we can set it. Oops. Not just copy it, not cut. Uh, then do it like this. So it resets every time we count it. All right. And then we can return a value um, after this for loop. We'll do return coins spawns coin spawn. So that's the number. All right. So then we can just do local uh, amount of coins or on a coins. I mean, it's a different variable, but it's whatever. Um, I mean, we don't really have to return the value, but it's whatever. Counter. It's supposed to be. I spelled it wrong. Counter. Or we do count coins. Count coins. Count coins. All right. So when we set a variable to this function, it will be this variable will be set to the return value, which is coin spawn. Now this is what. Uh, this is the variable we were using to count how many coins have been spawned. And this is pretty much what we'll do every single time we spawn a, a coin or every, every loop, every time we spawn a coin. So we don't spawn too much, right? But this will still keep on looping to check if there's an empty spawn that's available, uh, that a coin is available to uh, spawn in. If that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Probably didn't. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Okay, let me think here. So if amount of coins is less than is or is less than max coins, then then you put everything we use to spawn the coin in random spawn inside this if statement. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Hmm. I think this should work actually. I think this should work. Uh, put this weight outside, actually. Okay. I mean, we don't have to do that, but whatever. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Now, should this should work perfectly? Unless I'm, if I'm done, I don't know. All right, so it's spawning, it's working. Let's see how many will it spawn. So as you can see, all the ones that with, uh, okay, let me show you this better. So as you can see, it has, oh, it actually that didn't work. I forgot one more if statement. So we will do repeat, a repeat loop, so repeat. Uh, actually, uh, declare this right here, and then remove this. All 
repeat until random spawn until not random spawn so until not random spawn find for child's coin so if it doesn't have a coin spawn in its place because you don't want multiple coins uh, in spawned in the same spawn okay I think that's pretty much it I, I didn't need to do an if statement just a repeat loop let's see okay let's see the workspace let's see the spawns so we have a multiple spawn boom so now there's only one coin for every spawner perfect and now let's close this all so as you see Every time there's an arrow, that means there's a coin that spawned in its place. And right now, all of them are spawned. It's not spawning anymore. So when we take a portion, not take a portion, so let's say we take a coin and it's spawning back. Now, of course, this is probably too fast. You might just want to adjust it, that's all. Um, but eventually, you do want it to spawn back in, uh, in the spawn. So we can just do usually you can do like wait five maybe that's modest enough but yeah so as you can see joining in the game you can see like coins spawning there's one right there well okay, it's gonna take a while actually because we did a wait five but yeah coins are spawning coins are spawning eventually uh, there's one right there coins um, and lastly, you might want to. Okay, that is a random script I made. Let's <laughs> ignore that. Uh, but yeah, it's one right there. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more, definitely be sure to like and subscribe. That will help a lot. If you want, I uh, said, if you want me to make a certain video, definitely be sure to suggest that in the comments. If it's like a really good suggestion. Um, but yeah, if you want to, if you want to join our Discord. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Actually, before I go, let's just make sure all these spawns are transparent. So let's go here. Uh, transparent. Oh yeah, that's it. So we'll see you guys in the next one.